An enthusiastic group of protesters marched around the city of Georgetown on Saturday afternoon. The group expressed their utter displeasure for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community through shouts and poster board displays. Man with man! Abomination! Woman with woman! Abomination! Woman with girls! Abomination! Woman with woman! Abomination! Man with man! Abomination! Sodomy is illegal! Sodomy is illegal! The protest was led by the controversial Linden pastor, Nigel London. He is calling on the government to enforce the laws and the books regarding homosexuality. According to Article 354 of the Laws of Guyana, everyone who commits sodomy, either with a human being or another living creature, shall be guilty of a felony and liable to imprisonment for life. And they said they want to have them the neutral bathroom. So many other that you don't know that. All these stores they said they wanted to go throughout the whole country, not just Ujiji. So the churches, the mosques, the, 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 the schools in the whole country, they're pushing for gender neutral bathrooms. Meaning, man and woman can go in the same bathroom together. We resist that. We are against it. Yes, we are. We are against it. We are against it, bro. We are refused for sodomites to push their agenda on this nation. The Ministry of Social Protection is currently funding a gender policy initiative that will include tolerance for the LGBT community. There is also a petition at the University of Guyana for the establishment of gender-neutral washrooms on the campus. Pastor London is of the opinion that eventually the scope of that petition will extend to facilities nationwide. If such a petition is successful, all public buildings, private companies, and even places of worship may be compelled to provide gender-neutral facilities. It's a thought that deeply disturbs London. According to our constitution, we are a democratic nation, and it is a majority of the nation's rules, not a few. And so I'm prepared to go to the highest level or office in this country to ensure that the justice system works the way it should. My focus is not political in any way. I want uh, the politicians to know that you are in office or they're in office based on the will of the people. And they can also be removed from office based on the will of the people. So if we're going to have any cause to seek to touch a law that's as serious as that of the Criminal Offenses Act, Article 351 and 354, buggery and sodomy, then at least let the people have something to say about it. Don't promise us a referendum and then we throw it because a minority says they don't want a referendum. That is unjust and it's unfair, democratically speaking. And I'm just glad to see people who have a like mind and who are willing to come to say that they are against this behavior, especially regarding the statement by Otis Pearson that he likes it to boys. That one has got me very, very concerned. The Minister of Education, Nicolette Henry, um, she was invited by Sasset and the British High Commission to an event uh, for, I think it's purple, they were the word of color purple. Um, that day, and she said that LGBTQ is not an anomaly, anomaly against nature. And I had an issue with that statement, and many persons did, because in essence, our Minister of Education is saying that to be a transgender is normal. I had calls in Linden to meet her and to speak with her at a forum for parents and ask her whether this was her personal view or, the, or to the policy of the Ministry of Education. She refused to answer that question, and that is concerning to me. We still have a constitution to uphold, not the personal will of the president or the opinion of the president. It's the constitution. The constitution is very clear that we have a law that says that buggery is a felony. Pastor London was sued by a leading organization within the LGBT community in Guyana. The case is currently before the court. For Channel 2 Headline News, I am Wendell Jeffrey.